What's up guys, Joe Snow right here, welcome to iRevice Central channel. So two days ago I showed you how to save the SHSH blobs for future downgrades on a Mac and you asked me on a comment section if there is a solution for Windows as well. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to do that on Windows and we're also going to talk about the uh, iOS 10.2 jailbreak, the Yalu jailbreak and when we are supposed to get new support and for which devices. So let's continue directly to the website. If you want to follow up the Mac tutorial, it's available in here and let me explain you a little bit why it's important to save them. See, the yellow jailbreak supports iOS 10 to 10.2 on anything pre-iPhone 7 and on the iPhone 7 it only supports iOS 10 to 10.1.1 which means that if you're on 10.2.1 you can now downgrade back to 10.2, only to 10.2 because 10.2 is signed, but what will you do if you're on 10.2.1 and I don't know, or you update and you get the signature window closed for 10.2, you won't be able to downgrade. So saving the SHSH blobs will help you downgrade in the future, even when the iOS 10.2 will not be signed anymore and you will be able to jailbreak with the Yalu jailbreak. So um, speaking about the jailbreak, I already made a tutorial on Windows if you want to check it out on how to jailbreak the iOS 10.2 or iOS 10.1.1 on Windows or on a Mac. The both of the videos are available in the description down below. Be sure to check them out. Now, how we do save the uh, blobs? On Windows, we're easily using the one Conan website. You probably remember it from uh, back when we saved the Temp 1.1 blobs. It was updated and it works the same as TeamStars TSS Checker. In fact, it works under the same system. So. Let's use it. Now, uh, in order to use this application, you can simply navigate to tsssaver.onecanon.com. The link is in the description down below. And keep in mind that the uh, blobs saved with this website are compatible with Future Restore. What you need in order to save? You do not need to update your device. I get a lot of questions about this. No, you don't need to update. As you can see, my iPod Touch 6th generation is running iOS 10.0.2 which is far back and I can still save the blobs without updating. You need to click here on serial number once and then twice. Copy the ACID, in my case this is a development device now, and you need to go here on ACID and paste them. Then you need to select what kind of device it is. In my case it's iPod and it's iPod Touch 6th generation, but of course yours will probably be different. You can also manually specify the app nodes if you want a specific app nodes, but it's not required. Then you need to confirm your another robot and click submit. It will take a couple of seconds to process your request and uh, keep in mind that you also need to save them somewhere safe as it's not possible to retrieve them at every time. And as you can see, it saved the ones for 10.2 and 10.2.1. You're getting the blobs saved for both versions because both of them are signed right now. Then you need to download the zip and you will have them archived in here. And as you can see, these are the tickets and this is the one that you need. Now, um, if you want, you can also specify an app nodes, and this is recommended if you do if you do know what you're doing, and it will help with the uh, nodes collisions. We explained that more on the channel on my previous videos, so be sure to check them out when you have time. Now let's talk a little bit about the jailbreak. Now that we are sure we do have the um, SHSH, see. On the uh, Yalu, you can download now the beta one, as I said in the video right here. The iOS 10.2 jailbreak is a beta one and has limited support for the moment. So uh, you can only jailbreak for the moment the iPhone 5, sorry, the iPhone uh, SE, the iPhone 6S, the iPad Pro and probably 6S Plus. But here on the uh, source code on uh, GitHub, look at the desk made a table with the supported devices and the planet support on the future and as you can see iPhone 5s will be supported from iOS 10.0.0 to 10.2 so if you are in between and also if you're on 10.2 it will work it will also support the iPad Air, iPad Mini 2, iPhone 6, iPad Air 2, iPad Mini 3, iPod Touch 6th generation the device for which we saved now the blobs and iPad mini 4 and iPhone 7, but keep in mind the iPhone 7 will not support the 10.2 for the moment. It will only go as far as 10.1.1. 
So if you're on 10.2 on an iPhone 7, it's okay, stay there, do not update to 10.2.1, it's nothing lost. The exploit is still working as you can see from here, but the KPP or kernel patch protection bypass isn't working. So it's just something that has to be fixed, but it's not impossible. But do not go to 10.2.1 or 10.3, remain here. And now it is safe to assume that you can go from uh, on an iPhone 6 or an iPhone 5S to 10.2 if you're on 10.1.1 waiting for the jailbreak. It's now safe to update. But keep in mind you do not need to update if you do not want to. Because if you're on 10.1.1, 10.0.1, 10.1 or 10.0.2, it's still going to be supported. You don't have to be on 10.2. It's just a decision you make. So uh, yeah, this is basically it guys. If you want to follow up the tutorial on how to jailbreak the compatible devices, Go ahead, this is the video right here for the Windows and right here you have the one for the Mac and um, do not forget to check out the uh, information down below in the description and you can also check out the uh, how to save 10.2 or 10.2.1 blobs on a Mac if you're interested in that. So the uh, one Conan website is in the description down below. Be sure to save your blobs. This is very important, especially because it will enable you to downgrade in the future when a jailbreak won't be available. For example, if you're, if you're going to go to iOS 10.3, by mistake, or I don't know, your iPhone simply updated by himself, then if you have the blobs, you might be able to go back to 10.2 and jailbreak. If you don't have them, there is no way you can downgrade. So be sure to save that little thing and keep them somewhere safe. This is Joe Snow, till the next time, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, give this video a thumb up if you like it, until the next time, peace out.